Hi everyone, David Saad here from skygems.ca. Thank you all so much for joining me. I have on the turntable this truly ravishing 4.57 karat green tourmaline. Absolutely stunning. Take a look at that gorgeous piece. As it's coming around again, you can see the cutting on it is absolutely lovely. Uh, this is kind of a long rectangular, uh, I've described it as a barrel cut because we have the, uh, you know, the, the ends that are that are softened and the long rectangle. Uh, these long rectangles are, are very classic when we're talking about tourmaline, green tourmaline in particular. Uh, we often get long crystals, long, clean, beautiful color crystals uh, coming out and you know you cut to the you cut to the rough. Um, tourmaline to me, if you're making a piece of jewelry out of this, uh, I'd love to be the one to make it for you. And and tourmaline to me is a gem that I think that a lot of the reason for the rise in popularity of tourmaline over the past 10, 15 years is because of the rise and ease of making custom jewelry. So when, you know, I mean, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, 30 years ago, jewelers were very hesitant to buy gems that were not calibrated because it was difficult to find semi-mounts for them. And if you, you know, even if you were going to go to the casting house, I mean, it used to be that you'd go to a casting house where they, you know, not casting for movies, casting, uh, casting jewelry, casting gold and silver. So you'd go to a casting house and they'd have 20,000 designs on the wall and you'd choose from those 20,000 designs and you'd make a piece of jewelry. Again, these were all of these designs, these 10,000, 20,000, 100,000, whatever designs. Uh, I used to work at a casting house, uh, you know, a million years ago. Uh, these were all made for calibrated gems. I mean, 99.9% .9 of them were. So gems like this meant that you needed somebody who could hand carve a wax and give you a beautiful piece of jewelry on the other side. Now that we have uh, the ability to make these in, uh, in 3D CAD computer assisted drawing and uh, make custom jewelry like that, gems like this have really had a chance to kind of, you know, blow up. On the scene and uh, become a lot more desirable. Look at that gem as it's coming around again. I mean, I'm just wow, the green. But gems like this, uh, you know, these odd shapes, these long shapes, which are which make incredible jewelry and they make really interesting pieces of jewelry. Um, these have been able to kind of blow up, make lots and lots of uh, beautiful pieces, and you're seeing pieces like this because. We're no longer, you know, looking for stones that are going to fit in settings that we have. We can just say, you know what, everyone we're going to make is a one of a kind. And I love the fact that everyone we make is a one of a kind at Sky Gems. Um, you know, I mean, I do do some manufacturing of, of uh, like stacker rings and whatnot. But I mean, even those, it's all one of a kind. Those are all handmade. Um, right. I like one of a kind pieces. So everyone's going to be just a little bit different. And, you know, we go to this again, we take something like this. I would love to, you know, put rose cut sapphires and rose cut white sapphires on either side, you know, build it up and just make a beautiful piece of jewelry. Uh, again, reach out to me, David at skygems.ca. I'd love to be the one to make jewelry for you. All right. So I've taken the gem off the turntable, put it into a pair of tweezers for you so I can really show it off, uh, show off that cutting for you. You can see that. We have step cuts uh, on the on the long sides here. All right, I'm just gonna point this out to you. All right, so we have the step cuts here, and then we have brilliant cut here on you know this is why I'm calling it kind of a rectangular barrel cut, and then at the back step cut. Beautiful cutting, beautiful symmetry, beautiful scintillation of this gem. It's going to make an absolutely stunning piece of jewelry, uh, whether we're going to make a ring. I mean, this would actually probably lend itself really well to a pendant. I'm just going to give you a little bit of an idea. My head's bigger than most, but if we were to, you know, going to take a pendant, put, uh, again, I really like the idea of, uh, I've been using a lot of rose cut white sapphires lately, and um, I really enjoy doing that, making pieces with the rose cut white sapphires. Uh, really looks kind of very classy and classic, um, but you can do it with a little bit more modern looking pieces and just, it really, it comes beautifully. Um, if you are, which, you know, leads me to a game, if you want to make jewelry, please reach out. Also, if you're in the Toronto area, you live in the Toronto area, you're going to be in the Toronto area, uh, want to come by, I'd love to have you. 
Um, I mean, I have people, a guy from Boston was just up, uh, you know, he, 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 he planned his trip and did some other things in the city, made a trip out of it, uh, came by and, uh, he was fairly certain that the stone that he was looking at from me was the stone he wanted, but he said, come on up from Boston. It was a, it was a fairly expensive gem. So he came up from Boston and bought it. Uh, I have some lovely customers from Detroit who come up, uh, every once in a while. So, you know, it's also great to, you know, kind of plan a, plan a trip, come out to the city, come out to Toronto, you know, catch, uh, whether you want to catch a Leafs game or a Raptors game right now in the summer, want to grab a TFC game or a, uh, or a Blue Jays game. Love to have you come on out. Take a look at some lovely gems and uh, make a weekend of it. Alrighty. Thank you all so much for watching. Have yourself a great day. And don't forget to tell your friends about skygems.ca. Bye for now.